हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एनजी क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर अ वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी शेल कंसीडर अ न्यूमेरिकल ड्रॉ द इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क बेस्ड ऑन टॉर्क करंट एनालॉजी एंड राइट द परफॉर्मेंस इक्वेशन फॉर द मैकेनिकल सिस्टम शोन सो दिस इज द मैकेनिकल सिस्टम शोन एंड फॉर दिस आई नीड टू ड्रॉ द इलेक्ट्रिकल इक्वल नेटवर्क यूजिंग टॉर्क करंट एनालॉजी before we proceed further the very first task is i need to draw the equivalent mathematical model so first once i draw the equivalent mathematical model i can write the performance equations and based on those performance equations i can apply torque current analogy and towards the end for those equations i can write the electrical network so that is the procedure so let's begin the very first task is to draw the equivalent electrical network so how do i draw that equivalent mathematical model how do i draw that for that i need to identify the number of angular displacements so here theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 there are three angular displacements and correspondingly i need to draw the three nodes so let me draw those things first so this theta 1 i would call and this would be theta 2 and this would be theta 3 so once i do this i can proceed further so this let me call this as theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 as i said what are the things connected at theta 1 at theta 1 i have inertia moment of inertia j1 and there is a friction b1 which are exclusively at theta 1 so that i need to draw it first so first let me consider sketching moment of inertia j1 over here so i'm i'm doing the same thing so once that is done i can proceed further i need to draw j1 so let me uh, sketch over here and extend this line further yes till this point i can extend this so this i'm calling it as moment of inertia j1 and i also have a friction so i need to indicate that friction over here at the angular displacement theta 1 so here i am going to consider that yes so let me draw the friction b1 yes this i am calling it as b1 so once that is this is done let me extend this line further so that i can connect the, them all to the ground yes let me join these two points and uh, later they will be connected to ground so what is the next task the next task is at theta 1 i also have the torque been applied so this is t of t this is the torque which is applied at theta 1 so i need to indicate that as well so let me indicate the torque applied over here yes almost done and let me also connect this extend this line further till this point yes and i am calling this as the torque applied torque t it would be in the direction in this direction ultimately all these things are connected to ground so let me indicate that thing yes this is what has been there at the angular displacement theta 1 so if i look closely now between theta 1 and theta 2 there is the spring constant k1 so that i need to indicate it over here so let me draw a spring constant k1 over here yes this i am going to call it as the spring constant k1 which is between theta 1 and theta 2 so what are the things there at theta 2 at theta 2 i have moment of inertia j2 and the friction b2 so that i need to indicate so let me draw j2 and b1 so if i join it uh, if i draw it similarly the way i did for theta 1 it looks like this yes now if let me draw j j2 here and extend this line till the ground yes and later i would also draw b2 
the friction which is there at the dis angular displacement theta 2. Yes, and towards the end I'm going to connect all these things to the ground. Yes, here I'm going to draw the angular, uh, the friction B2, which is there over here. Yes, this is J2 and this would be B2. Done? Yes. And what is there at theta 3? Before moving to theta 3, there is K2, which is connected between theta 2 and theta 3. So that I need to indicate over here. So this I'm calling it as the spring constant K2. And I would join, I would write it over here. And now at theta 3, I have J3 and B3. So similarly, let me draw J3 and B3. So which would like, which would look like this. Similarly, the way I have done previously. And I would draw this also. This would be my J3. So let me extend this line till the ground. Yes. And similarly, let me also draw. Let me also sketch. Yes. And ultimately, I need to connect these two things to the short these things. And later, I would connect it to ground. So that can be taken care. And this is nothing but the friction B3. So that I am drawing it now. Yes, this I'm calling it as B3 and this would be J3. So let me just connect these points to the ground. Yes, ultimately this is the equivalent mathematical model for the given mechanical system. Once I draw this, I can write the performance equations for these things. So the equilibrium equations or the performance equations, I can write it at node t, uh, theta 1, theta 2 and theta 3. So let me consider first at node theta 1. So what is the torque applied? The applied thing is T. T is equal to what What do I have? There is J J1 D square divided by DT square of theta 1. Correct? Plus and there is the friction which is B1 D divided by dt of theta 1 similarly plus what do I have there is the spring constant k1 which is between theta 1 and theta 2 so I would get this as theta 1 minus theta 2 as I'm writing this with respect to theta 1 I would write this theta 1 minus theta 2 similarly at node theta 2 so moving on further at node at the node theta 2. So what would be the equation? 0 is equal to what do I have? There is J2 B2. So how do I write the equation for J2? Moment of inertia J2 D square divided by DT square of theta 2. Correct? Yes. Plus there is B2. B2 D divided by DT of theta so this is with respect to the friction plus what do I have there is k1 as well k1 now I am writing this with respect to theta 2 hence it would be theta 2 minus theta 1 plus there is another spring constant k2 which is between theta 2 and theta 3 I would write it as theta 2 minus theta 3 is that done similarly moving on to the last node so let me call this as at node theta 3. So I'm going to get 0 is equal to. So there is J3 and B3. So I would write it as J3 D square divided by DT square of theta 2. Uh, not theta 2. It would be theta 3 as I'm there with respect to third node. Plus there is the friction. So I would write this as B3 
d divided by dt of theta 3 and what else is there there is the spring constant k2 so that i need to write it k2 into bracket theta 3 minus theta 2 correct so these are the three equations so now i need to apply torque current analogy so let me write that torque so making use of torque current analogy so i need to rewrite these equations so how do i rewrite before rewriting the torque current analogy says moment of inertia j its equivalent term in electrical term is the capacitance c and friction b can be replaced with 1 divided by the resistance r and the spring constant k can be re replaced with 1 divided by l similarly d theta divided by dt is nothing but the voltage v and if i want to find the equation for theta so it would be integral of v into dt and similarly lastly if i want to get d square theta divided by dt square so that need to be replaced with dv by dt so if i know these analogy using for torque current uh, method i can do the replacements so applying that i need to consider the first equation the first equation is t equal to uh, t is the torque in mechanical term its equivalent in electrical term is current i i is equal to j1 j1 would be replaced with c1 and then i have dv divided by dt correct yes moving on further plus v1 v1 would be 1 divided by r1 d theta 1 divided by dt so what is that it would be v1 moving on further k1 k1 is nothing but 1 divided by l1 and i have integration of v1 minus v2 into dt so this is the first equation using torque current analogy at node 2 now so again make use of this making use of this i would get 0 equal to j2 in place of j2 i have c2 then i have dv by dt so which v it is that is with respect to second that is v2 dv2 here it is dv1 correct yes moving on further b2 b2 is nothing but 1 divided by r2 then i have v2 over here plus k1 in place of k1 i have 1 divided by l1 1 divided by l1 it is integration of v2 minus v1 dt correct plus then i have k2 in place of k2 i have 1 divided by l2 integration of v2 minus v3 over here is that fine yes once this is done i need to consider the last equation at node uh, theta 3 which is equal to 0 equal to j3 j3 is nothing but c3 then i have dv3 divided by dt correct plus what is b3 1 divided by r3 then i have v3 plus then i have k2 k2 is nothing but 1 divided by l2 1 divided by l2 integral of v3 minus v2 so these are the three equations performance equations using torque current analogy once this is drawn once this is written i can draw the equivalent electrical network so again i need to first to draw the three nodes this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one so what is there uh, these points i would call it as v1 v2 and v3 
so what is what are the things that uh, v1 first there is a current applied and then i have a c1 and r1 which are precisely there at the position v1 so that i need to draw it first so let me draw over here uh, that thing and ultimately i would be extending this further and here i'm calling it as the first element that is c1 so this i'm calling it as the capacitor c1 once that is done i need to consider uh, drawing the resistance so let me consider that part now so here i am going to draw the resistor yes once it is done let me extend this till the ground and later i will be joining these two things yes and what are these things this is c1 so let me write that this is c1 and this is r1 correct and there is the current also so that i need to indicate it over here so this would be the current and i'm sketching that and let me extend this point till the ground also and the direction of the current would be in this direction this i'm calling it as the current i so i would be connecting this to ground and same thing over here so what is there at v2 at v2 again between v v1 and v2 there is inductor l1 so that i need to write so let me consider uh, sketching that at this point yes this i am calling it as the inductor let me extend this till this point so what is this so this is l1 i am looking for l1 but actually it is 1 divided by l1 so i would call this as 1 divided by k1 similarly for r1 it would be 1 divided by b1 so i would call it this way so once this is done what is there at v2 v2 again there is one capacitor so let me sketching that capacitor now over here and there is uh, let me sketch that capacitor first and let me call this as capacitor c2 and i also have one more resistor let me consider sketching the resistor over here something like this Yes. Let me sketch the resistance at this point, and let me extend this line further. Together, I can connect it to ground at this point of time now. So, what is this? So, this is nothing but the resistance R two. In into bracket, I would write one divided by B two. Correct? Yes. Between V two and V three, there is another inductor. l2 so let me consider sketching an inductor at this point over here so how does that look like so let me see that so this is the inductor i would call it as and let me also extend this line till the point this point and let me call this as l2 so into bracket i would be writing this as 1 divided by k2 correct once that is done at the position v3 at the position v3 i have one capacitor and one resistor that's it so let me consider sketching those things over here the way i did it previously yes from this point there is one capacitor i would extend it and later i would connect it to ground so that is the task i am doing i am left with so let me consider completing that so here i would call it as this as the capacitor third capacitor c3 and here i would get a resistance so this i am calling it as r3 and let me extend this line till the ground and uh, let me consider joining these two things and finally let me call this as r3 what is r3 
it is 1 divided by b 3 yes i'm done so let me just